Nope, I need to redo it again. <laughs> Is that loud construction work that you hear? Civil engineering in action, guys. Yeah, be natural. <laughs> Very natural. <laughs> I'll fix it in post-production. Hi, my name is Joe Gaddis. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Civil Engineering. I'm here with one of our wonderful undergraduates, Sharon, and we're here to answer some of your questions about what civil engineering at UQ might look like for you. Oh, so I've got the first question. What is civil engineering? Civil engineering is one of the specialisations within the Bachelor of Engineering degree here at UQ. And it's really uh, an incredibly diverse profession which encompasses all number of career paths related to designing for people and the world around us. Cool. So who should study civil engineering? Civil engineering appeals to a massive range of people. Anyone, I guess, with a social conscience is the prime candidate that we look for because our jobs allow us to influence uh, the future of our society, whether that be buildings, bridges, as you might sort of conventionally think, or some areas which people don't necessarily normally associate with civil engineering in terms of protecting our natural environment, protecting our waterways, or implementing digital infrastructure for futuristic cities of tomorrow. My turn. Yes. Why did you decide to study civil engineering? Well, actually, I was deciding between architecture and civil engineering because I'm really interested in structures. But I decided with engineering because I like the technical side of it. Fantastic. Very similar to me as well. Next question. Why did you choose here, the University of Queensland? Well, I chose to study here because I love the facilities, especially the structural lab in the AEB. Uh, what has been the most rewarding thing about teaching at UQ? Oh, um, something that I really enjoyed teaching at UQ, uh, in teaching at UQ, is teaching to different year levels. So when we engage with uh, our first year cohort who are undecided, it's a really great opportunity to kind of see why people enter engineering, what their kind of interests are, and try to direct them to the correct pathways. Um, as they go through the course, it's great to kind of see the students develop in their technical capacity and then by the time I sort of teach them in the fourth and fifth year specialisations, it's, it's a much smaller group of students who really choose the course that I'm teaching because they're passionate about the same things that I am. So does the university have any industry connections? Yes, absolutely. So every academic at UQ has strong industry connections through both their research portfolio and also connections through uh, at the school level through things like the industry advisory board who help make sure that our curriculum is teaching content covering areas that are relevant to them for the next generation of graduates. Um, personally, I work in the area of structural engineering, particularly in timber construction. And so some of the industry partners that I engage with regularly are companies like Hind Timber, Arab or Lend Lease, who are manufacturing design and construction firms. Uh, who work across Australia and the world. So Joe, can you do a major? What are the options? Yes, so within civil engineering, which is one of the specialisations in the Bachelor of Engineering degree, there are then eight further majors that you can select as you progress through your degree if you're interested in particular areas. So if you're interested in, I guess, the classical areas around the built environment, you have structural engineering, fire safety engineering, geotechnical engineering and mining engineering majors. Um, but then, of course, civil engineering also encompasses a whole range of work related to our natural environment. So then we have majors such as environmental engineering or water and marine engineering. And then finally, uh, there's a couple of really exciting areas in civil engineering that are evolving quickly with the digital technologies that are increasingly being used in our built environment. So majors such as transport engineering really give you an opportunity to be at the front of those kinds of trends in our profession. If you can't decide, there's always the general civil engineering major, which covers a little bit of everything um, and gives you a well-rounded education. All right, Joe, advice to high school students interested in civil engineering. My main piece of advice is to try and do a little bit of research about all the potential options that are available to you through engineering and then civil engineering. It's an enormously diverse profession and even now having worked at the university for over six years, I'm still finding new careers that people are pursuing, new areas of expertise that people are working in, which are really exciting. You know, everything from uh, climate change, wind modeling, uh, sustainable materials. There's an amazing, amazing breadth of areas where people can work with this degree. So if you're an incoming high school student, look online, speak to a civil engineer, speak to the university and um, see what's available to you, potentially. One further question, um, what do you love about your degree? I actually love how diverse it is. So I actually love learning different kinds of things and broaden my knowledge. So civil engineering really gives you that. 
Last question. What does the future of civil engineering look like? Oh, that's a big question. Um, I'll try to answer briefly, but civil engineering, like all professions, is evolving very, very quickly with more and more digital technologies. For us, that's giving us more tools to monitor our environments. It's giving us more tools to measure how our buildings are performing, how much people are enjoying the infrastructure or the cities as they're using them. And all of that data, all of those digital technologies are ones that we as engineers are able to harness. We already have the skills in our professional training and it's just giving us a greater ability to, to find out which of our designs are effective, uh, new ways to come up with creative designs and then new ways to deploy them, measure them and, and understand how we're having an impact in our profession.